Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is week three of OCS training. So guys, as you can see, I am wearing a black OCS neckerchief. I forgot what these are called, but I'll call it a neckerchief. So yeah, um, I'm approaching week five of OCS training, but my videos are a little bit delayed because we've been super busy nonstop. So I'm a little bit behind on my videos, but this video is gonna be on week three. So in week three, um, is the actually, it's the first week of um, training, but I've been here three weeks because we had two weeks of reception slash um, quarantine. The first thing we did in week three is we did a black and gold obstacle course. And that's pretty much the start of training. And after we complete the obstacle course, you're officially phased up. Then um, you'll get one of these black and gold neckerchief that I'm wearing. And we also had a class up ceremony after the black and gold obstacle course. And that's when they issued us these black neckerchiefs. So in the third week, I was given um, a position of first sergeant. You will get positions um, handed to you where you have to pretty much, where you have to emulate your position. For, for example, if you get a commander's position, you have to emulate what a commander would do. If you get an EXO, you have to um, emulate what an EXO would do. I was given first sergeant, so I had to emulate what a first sergeant would do. I have to say it was really stressful because when you get a position in the first week, you have nobody to shadow and you're pretty much just, you know, just, you're pretty much just on your own, just messing up and making mistakes as you go. So one thing I want to tell you guys about when you get your leadership position, you guys want to be confident um, as much as you can, even if you're more so like me, where I'm kind of like an introvert and I really, I'm out of my element. I'm not used to telling grown people what to do, bossing them around and, you know, giving orders, you know, being loud spoken, you know, having to march 159 other OC candidates like myself, people not really wanting to, you know, respect you or listen to you. And it gets really tough, really frustrating. I was really overwhelmed with my position, but overall, I think that, you know, I handled myself pretty well um, for somebody who didn't have, you know, someone to shadow. I think I did an okay job. I know that I could improve a lot more, so I will be getting a second leadership position. Everybody will be getting a second one, but it won't be, you know, a high position like a first sergeant. I'll probably I'll get something like a platoon leader or um, a squad leader, something like that, something of a smaller position or maybe a platoon sergeant. So um, you will be graded on those positions on how you did. That's why I recommend that you guys really, really try and do your best. It's unfortunate if you're given a high position like me in the first week. So we did a lot of classroom training that week where we had to have like, um, teachers come out and teach us different like leadership courses. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else did we do. Um, just a lot, a lot of classroom training. Um, also in that week we had two more obstacle courses where we went out to um, a field early in the morning. Like we did these little team training events where you had to like work together as a team far as like figuring how to get out of situations. I'll give you guys an example of an event we had where it'll be like some, a big, like, I don't know, ditch of water. It'll be a big ditch of water and you have to get your, your you and your teammates have to get across it and you have to pretty much work together as a team. So it'll be different courses like that. You'll do like um, climbing up a rope and, um, and just pretty much putting your heads together and learning how to work together pretty much. Um, the second part of that obstacle course, we went out to this big field where it was similar to our black and gold, but a little more intensive. 
um, where you have to do things that's like really high in height. You have to climb ropes, jump over walls. Um, you have to jump on logs, balance yourself, um, learning balance, um, going up and down, climbing up like, I don't really know what to call it, like climbing up like walls and then climbing down like, you know, head first. So um, it was really fun for a lot of us. Me, I'm not an obstacle course type of person, especially with heights. Like that was like my weakness was the heights. Like you had to climb up this really tall wall and you have to like slide down from a rope. And it's like high and it's like inclined. And you're going down like that. So that was um, really scary for me that I couldn't complete that. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I, I couldn't complete that part, but everything else I did complete. I'm not the best rope climber, so don't feel bad if you guys aren't, you know, the best rope climber. There's a lot of people that, you know, never climbed a rope before and they couldn't do it. But as long as you try, as long as you put in effort, you'll be fine. Um, what else did we do? Um, we also went to the DFAC for the first time that week. Um, the DFAC um, was pretty good. Um, at first, it wasn't the greatest, but it got better as time went on. So we no longer had to eat MREs or um, what they call hot eggs, where they bring the food in the tubs and you eat outside. Um, to me, that food wasn't the greatest. It was old, stale, and cold. But when we got fresh, hot food from the DFAC, it was so much better. Um, we also went to CIF where we get our gear issued to us, like our helmets, our salt packs, our medium uh, rucks. Uh, what else did we get? Um, just a lot of field gear is pretty much what we got that week. And we also got laptops issued to us because we are doing lots and lots of classroom training because we will have exams that we have to take. Um, what else? We all have the history test coming up. That'll be in a later video. So we are doing lots of um, classroom training. Um, got a little ahead of myself, but we also got our, our permanent rooms and our permanent roommates. The last thing that we did in week three is we went to an army museum. It's like a little mini museum where you get to see a lot of cool army, old gear from like the 1930s, a lot of histor historical pieces from the army. Um, that was right after our um, class up ceremony. Okay guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful to you guys on what to expect for OCS. If you guys know someone who's interested in um, OCS or coming to OCS, please refer them to my videos. Um, leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, hit the bell so that you never miss another upload. And I will see you guys in my next one, which will be week four.